Well, having Reslon as another tool to use in the fight against grass burrs is good. It's something we haven't had in the past. It's new, it's different. Well, we've been in the fertilizer business since 1996. And I've, I've been growing hay on this property with my dad since I was a kid. In 2012 and 13, we had severe drought in this area and the grasses got thin and it seems like the grass burrs took hold during that time. A, a hay bale that's full of grass burrs is not worth selling. I mean, especially to a horse man. At 25 to $30 an acre, that's a half a bale of hay per acre. And grass burrs in your hay, if you're feeding it yourself, you're going to haul them off and cause some problem somewhere else on your property. After the drought, we had fields that looked like Wheat heads, when you looked across them, it was grass burrs, but it looked like 50 bushel wheat out there. We apply Resilon as a pre-emerge early in the spring, and I like the stability of Resilon. We put three ounces in February, and three ounces in July. And the other chemicals, we would not spray at all in July, but with Resilon, because it's stable, we put it out there and don't worry about it. Resilon has helped me as an applicator in the fact that I can apply when I have time and I'm not having to time it up with the rainfalls so that it gets incorporated. We've had pre-emergence in the past that didn't last as long as Resilon. Resilon seems to last 45, 50, maybe even 60 days, but longer, definitely longer than the other pre-emergence. And that gives your grass time to get up and get ahead of it. After applying Resilon the first cutting, the first application, the results were good. The second application was an easy sell. I mean, they wanted it. They knew it worked in the spring, so they wanted it in the fall. I mean, I had people, they would call me and say, now when do I put this out again? Cause I'm real happy. <laughs>